I'm Sarah Kressel, I'm founder of the Creation Station, where we inspire children's imaginations. And we do that through arts and crafts, classes, parties and events across the UK. And we have over 50 franchisees who are out there delivering our brand and our passion about inspiring children's imaginations. When I first started looking at franchising, I went and did a lot of research with the BFA. And they are the kite mark for ethical, fair and transparent franchising. And they were the values that I had. Anything I was going to do was going to have that same value at Nethos. So it's fantastic that there is an organisation out there that are the kite mark and the standard for ensuring that franchising is and continues to maintain that ethical, those ethical values. The, when I look at the business now, the value of an established brand means that one, it's reassuring, it's trustworthy, it's got values, and it can be delivered on so many levels to so many people by fantastic and really highly motivated franchise owners. We awarded the first franchise um, at arm's length distance, it was about 50 miles away, and uh, she ran the business. And that really gave me the confidence that actually, yes, these systems are working, she's getting out of it what she needs. And then we ran a second franchise. And throughout the whole journey of franchising, it's amazing, our franchise owners have a lot of good ideas as well. And as the business changes and, and the climate changes and, and marketing and social media, being on top of those, being at the forefront of that, means that we can put those systems in place to support our franchise owners. I'd always wanted to do something on my own. Um, I didn't have the confidence to actually go out there and do it, you know, sort of without any support. So um, the idea of, of, of the creation station was was fantastic because it's like I can be my own boss but I've got the support there if I need it. My family were really skeptical about it all so I had to kind of cut down those barriers first and say no I know what I'm doing and so um, but um, also um, it was important to me uh, one of the things that really made me feel like it was right was that it was part it was becoming part of the British Franchise Association um, and that made me feel better about things, really. Because I knew that they, they wouldn't just be a member, and they wouldn't have just got to be a member just like that, that they would have to prove these, these things. So um, it was very important to me. I emailed Sarah, and we had a good long chat for about two hours, I think. Um, and Sarah invited us down for Discovery Morning, of which my whole family took a, a trip down. Um, we. What, we, we watched the Discovery Morning, had a chat with some of the parents, then went back and had a chat with Sarah, asked all the questions we needed to ask, facts, figures, etc. Um, and then waited for Sarah to give us a call to say whether I'd been awarded a franchise or not. I researched quite a number of franchises. Uh, the Creation Station was actually the first franchise opportunity that I contacted um, and they rang me back within half an hour and had a lovely long chat and whilst I did speak to about uh, three or four other um, franchisors and found out a lot about those businesses as well it was really the creation station that stood out for me. From when I was awarded the franchise I began with one class a week and have built that up. I've kind of settled now at around about um, six classes a week um, and party business has grown really well. Um, I was very lucky actually that uh, it started off very strongly in my area and I'm now starting to look um, into other areas uh, for regular um, classes in particular such as children and family centres. We understand when somebody starts a franchise they don't necessarily have any business experience. So what we do is we provide the, the knowledge, the confidence and the skills to help them achieve the success that they want. Um, one of the biggest things franchise owners ask us is, can you help us with our marketing? During the first three months we have regular conference calls, a lot of hand-holding because it's all new and we realise that people might be feeling a bit nervous so we're, we're right there on that journey and we're also there to support people with their marketing, their own personal planning to achieve the success that they want. I'm really delighted that we've just won the Best Franchise Marketing Support Award at the National Franchise Exhibition, affiliated with the BFA, for all of the support that we put in place for our franchise owners. One of the things that I really liked about the Creation Station when, when I um, was awarded the franchise was 
that the, that the session plans are all written for you. So there's no um, at the weekend thinking, well, I'm going to teach next week, which was what I was doing before at the college. So, so that was fantastic. From day one, we've had 110%, if not more, of support from Sarah. With the bigger events with, that we may need help from head office, um, we need proposals, writing or tenders. Um, that they help us support and write those um, and develop those with us. I enjoy pretty much every aspect of, of running my own franchise um, with the Creation Station. I absolutely love inspiring children's imaginations and that is what we're here for. To see children happy and messy is just great fun. To see mums, dads, grand, granddad, parents, carers, whoever is with the children having a great time and getting messy as well. That's what does it for me. Well, it's an opportunity for them to, um, to really kind of do messy play, um, try things that perhaps they wouldn't try at home. It's been so easy for me. I've literally just been able to sit, watch the children enjoying themselves, have a cup of tea. It's all been organised and it's just been so much fun. If you're dreaming of running your own business, I suggest that you do your research, Talk to people and get some advice from your loved ones and people around you. And then do, and then make the right decision for you because ultimately it'll be you that's running the business. We've made the cost of a Creation Station franchise very accessible because we have three different entry levels. We have a mini franchise which starts at 5995 plus VAT. Then we have a standard which is 8995 plus VAT. And then the premium which is 10995 plus VAT. People also need £2,000 for their tools and equipment. There are uh, some challenges to face when you're running your own franchise um, and I would say that you need to make sure that you, you're able to prioritise your workload, that you're able to manage your own time effectively. It's very, very easy to get um, either sidetracked or pulled into one particular aspect. Um, and actually, you've got to be all things to yourself. You, you are your, your own boss and you're responsible for the success of your business. And also making sure that you know how to manage your cash flow, manage your money as well, that you're carrying the right sorts of levels of stock, that you're buying the right things at the right time, and obviously um, managing your, your income as well. Although we're not handheld all the way, we always know that there's someone there to support, no matter how small or, or minor details that we need. A lot of the businesses that do start up individually, um, I would say in my area, only last approximately six months. Whereas I've been running for two and a half years and it's growing and growing and growing. I enjoy being my own boss. Um, I have nobody telling me what to do, when to do it. Um, it's up to me if I make the mistakes. Um, and that it's for me to rectify them, for me to develop and for me to grow. I definitely recommend um, Franchise to anybody who's looking into starting and running their own business. It's not for everybody, it's very hard work but it's very satisfying and having the backing of a recognised brand and the support that you get with a franchise really does help you get off to a flying start. Um, I feel that the creation station is for me because well, a few months ago I found myself in a position that both my children had gone to school and I needed to do something with the hours that I had um, before I had to pick them up. Um, I didn't want to go back to work. Um, I didn't want to work full time. I didn't want to commute. I didn't feel that was what I wanted for my family. Um, and I started to look at franchising as an alternative to that. Um, and I came to the Creation Station, or actually the Creation Station came to me via an email and it just seemed like a perfect fit. Um, I'm quite a creative person anyway. I make jewellery and have enjoyed being artistic in the past. And um, I sent for a discovery pack and that came with a packet of pom-poms and um, sparkly things with it, which my son was desperate to get hold of. And that was absolutely what sold it. If he was like, like that, I just thought that's what I want to get involved in. I think franchising is a great model for those businesses that can be replicated. Um, it's all about systems, support, and understanding your market and it is a, you actually need to be very passionate and committed. I, for us, it's about children's imagination. Um, so if you have a value in a brand that can, has potential to grow, there is a lot of scope for looking at the franchise model. The thing I love best about being a franchisor 
is supporting women to achieve the work-life balance that they want and inspiring the nation's imagination. <laughs>